On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm gonna let you know if I like trekking with trekking poles, because this is my first time. I'm out here at Oak Mountain State Park, which if you don't know already, big spotter, big spotter over there. If you don't know already, I love coming out here hiking. One, because I usually have service everywhere and me being a realtor, I need service. So in case someone's trying to get in touch with me. Today, it only had like a 30% chance of rain and I woke up this morning and storms were moving through. It looks like no lightning or thunder. So I decided to come on out here and try out my new trekking poles and see if I like using them. So far, I'm liking the fact that I can knock down the uh, spider webs because nobody's been on this trail yet. All right, let's go check these things out. It just started raining, and I have my rain jacket for right now. It actually feels pretty good. And it looks like, according to the radar, it's not gonna last terribly long. So we'll see. So far, my trekking poles, the things that I've learned, it had a rubber tip on it, and I almost lost it, but I found it. Because it was sliding around, and I guess that's probably more for like, concrete and stuff. You know, I've never used trekking poles, so I have no clue. So, when I lost it, it's got this little pointy tip on the end of it. I like that way better for hiking. It works good. Also, I'm learning that I like one pole better than two, po two poles. If it was super hard, two poles would be great, but one is actually better because I like keeping one hand free. I can use it for stability, climbing up rocks, and then I can use my trekking pole for the other hand. Also, filming is almost impossible with two poles. The reason I started wanting trekking poles is when I get about in 10 miles, my knee starts to hurt when going downhill. And I'm hoping by using trekking poles, it will alleviate some of the pressure that I put on my knee while I'm walking so that it won't hurt the 10 mile mark. I'm planning on trying to do 13 miles today. I originally wasn't planning on filming, but Kelly's YouTube brain ended up saying, oh, you know what, it's the first time I've used trekking poles. This would be a great video. I'm sure somebody that's never used them would like to know my thoughts on it. So, so it's taken me a little longer than I thought because that's what YouTube does. It adds time to your hikes. Also, I'm filming all this on my iPhone. I have the new one. I have the new one coming Tuesday. I'm so excited. Wish I had it for today. So if the footage looks a little different, it's because this was all shot on my iPhone. Below. Let me know. Do you see a smiley camel? Look at him. I see his. I see his eye, and then his mouth looks like a smiley camel. Yeah, I'm saying the one pole. I just feel so much more stable than I do with the two. I feel like I like having my other hand as a balancing. Like I mean, I know I could do it with a pole in my hand, but I just it feels better just having one pole. These poles that I got, I don't know why I didn't want the cork, but after I read everything, it says that you want the ones with the cork because it keeps your hands from sweating. I have to say that my hand is not sweated at all, and it's super humid today because of the rain in the area and it's hot, and you know, we're in Alabama. These poles came with the rubber tip, the pointy tip, and they even have like a snow, I guess, tip because it's like the tip that's on my ski poles. 
I'll leave a link in the description box to these because so far I've really, really enjoyed them. They're adjustable. I have to say I started out a little lower and I've been inching them up because they're adjustable and I've gotten them up pretty high. I just felt weird to start with, with them up high, but now that I've been hiking up and down some hills, I like them up higher. So I'm just gonna keep adjusting them until I get the, the feel that feels right. I picked a hard trail that has a lot of ups and downs and a lot of rocks and hills, just so that I could test this out and see how it works. I really like, like this is a, a log and I really like how sometimes when I was stepping over them, I mean, you just get older and you're just not as stable anymore. But when I go to step over it, I just put this down, hold it, and then step over it. And it makes me feel so much more confident stepping over different things. found a box and uh, it's got where you know hikers and stuff that put stuff so I'm gonna sign in and today's day is all right I'm gonna do this and then I'm going to put uh, some of our stickers in there I'm gonna leave some of our stickers in here for some people so if you could find this at Oak Mountain State Park then maybe you could get a sticker. Also, if you want to email me, I can send you some stickers if y'all are interested. I've always wanted to make it up to this Outlook and I never have because the trails up here sometimes get really confusing, but all trails have added this cool new thing. I always tell it to track me while I'm hiking just so that I know where I've gone or been. So if I need that, I can. And this time, every time I got off of a regular trail, it would alert me that I am off the trail. I say these trekking poles really help. I have slipped a couple of times and I caught myself with my pole. And not that I would have fallen down, but it gives you that extra bit of security when you're getting older. And well, I feel like I need these. I know Bill would absolutely probably love these because he's got really bad knees. I feel like this would really help him a lot. I've been hiking, I guess I'm about six miles in and uh, my legs aren't hurting, which they normally don't hurt by this point. Like I said, it's usually about the 10 mile mark and it's only downhill. I would rather climb hills than go downhill. See, this time I parked on the north end of the park instead of the south end because I always park on the south end because to get back to my car it's all uphill and I like to try to at least do 10 to 13 miles and if my knees hurting I don't want to have to walk back down to the north end back to my car so I've been using this to get rid of spider webs on the trails. But you know, like if some animal was coming to get me, I could use them maybe to beat them up. I don't know, be better than nothing, I guess. I haven't got to hike much this year. Normally I hike a lot more. You know, I only had that one time and I only hiked probably five or six miles the, the day that I ruined my GoPro 360. I kind of abandoned my hike that day. I was just so sick. If you haven't watched that already, I will link that video. This year with real estate and YouTube, and then I've been trying to post two videos a week. And sometimes I've been doing three because the third video is gonna be anytime we traveled. I had to edit those. It's just, it's gotten a little overwhelming and then I haven't got to enjoy my free time as much as I normally would. I'm batching up a bunch of RV decor series videos. If that's something you enjoy, you can subscribe. 
So one thing that I've really liked is that the way the top of this truck pole is, when I'm going down steep grades, I'm able to grab and push down to take weight off if I need to. I just been doing that. My knee is not hurting, but I want to keep as much pressure off of it as much as I can to keep it from hurting. So I have to say, like I have um, weak ankles. I've always like sprained my ankle. Like every time I go hiking, I'll twist my ankle. It's not enough that it hurts, but I mean, like you know, it's just like a stinger. <laughs> this. <laughs> has saved me a couple of times from doing that. Stepped on a rock, it twisted, and I was able to catch myself and push myself back up before I twisted my ankle. I'm liking my tricket pole, because I like the one, because I've tried the two and I didn't like the two. I'm just now getting, I'm like, right now I'm about nine miles in, and my knee hurts a little on some really steep inclines, but normally on like this gentle slope like this downhill, it would already be really hurting bad and it's not. So that's a win. If you have knee problems and you wanna hike, I would say get some trekking poles and try them out. Till next time, like and subscribe.